geocentric ideas had dominated astronomical thinking for about 1500 years until the appearance of simpler heliocentric model during the scientific revolution. An historic development that was sparked by the publication of Nicholas Copernicus's on the revolutions of the heavenly spheres in 1543. In her 2002 remarkable book, The Ornament of the World, Spanish scholar Maria Rosa Minical points out that the invaluable contribution of Muslim scholars to various scientific disciplines, including astronomy, in medieval Spain for nearly 700 years, has largely been overlooked or obscured in many Western circles. Arthur Byrne Bernard, in a book published in 2011, attributes their achievements to the genius of Islam that have been making the modern world for the last 500 years. Inspired by verses from the Quran, like these from the Prophets and Yasin chapters, a number of Muslim medieval astronomers had devoted a great deal of observation and scholarly work to finally confirm the heliocentric model. The published works of Al-Khazan, Abu Rehan al-Biruni, Ibn al shatir al, al khuzwaini Al-Tusi, al zamal Shari, and Fakir al-Din al-Razi, among others, were translated into Latin and read at the Andalusian libraries over three centuries, the 11th through the 13th. Thus preceding Copernicus by at least 200 years. In his major work, Al-Tafsir Al-Kabir, published around 1179, author Fakir al-Din al-Razi defends the concept of heliocentrism with a major difference, that the sun is not mentioned as a static object or as a center of the universe. Even though the earth is described as a bed in one verse, in another it is portrayed as a sphere, he wrote. Spherical earth is revolving around the sun. If questioned, how do people and objects maintain their balance on the earth if the earth, as a sphere, is revolving around the sun? My answer will be that the earth is such a huge sphere where flat surfaces are in abundance. It is not permitted to the sun to catch up the moon nor can the night outstrip the day. Each, the sun and the moon, just swims along in its own orbit according to the law. <laughs>